Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Scentsy Saturday. And today we're going to talk about pumpkin marshmallow chosen by Deborah Witt. Now, this I got maybe a month or two ago. Uh, I was kind of trolling the Scentsy sale section, and this was in the sale page. And I thought I would pick a couple up, just kind of keep it, put it away for um, fall. So uh, let me first talk about how Scentsy describes it, and they say it, it is sticky sweet marshmallow spooned into fresh baked pumpkin and wrapped into a graham cracker crust. Now, what I got out of it is just straight up pumpkin, 100% pumpkin straight out of the can. Um, I did not get any of the marshmallow, I didn't get the graham cracker crust, but nor do I get vanilla, I don't get cinnamon, Honestly, when, if you open up a can of pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie mix, but just straight canned pumpkin by Libby's, this is exactly what it is. So I thought, well, okay, well, I guess that's okay, but what am I going to do with it? Well, then I came up with the idea that I could try to recreate a candle that uh, I'm dying for from Homeworks, and it was called Smoked Pumpkin Woods, and it came out last fall. I have no idea if it's coming out this fall. Harry Slacken has been very elusive as to what's coming out. So I tried to mix this with um, pumpkin marsh um, with uh, marshmallow fireside to get that smoky note from the mar from the marshmallow fireside and then the pumpkin from this. And while it wasn't exact, it was pretty close. It was pretty close. So if the candle doesn't come out. Um, I possibly might have something that will work in its place. So it was really good with that. But then I was thinking, hey, it'd be really good. So what I'm saying is basically now, now that it's a straight up pumpkin scent, it's a, it turns into a blender for me because there's nothing added to it. It's just a nice blender. You could make pumpkin latte. You could make pumpkin chai, uh, pumpkin marshmallow. You could put it with cookie blends. You could put it with cupcakes. You could put it with a multitude of things. Like bakery especially would be really good and coffee blends I think would be really good. So anyway, that's so I really like this. So um, I am going to place an order next week for Bring Back My Bar and I'll probably order a couple more as well uh, to blend with different things that I come up with along the way. So I really, really like this and like I said, even though I'm not getting what Sensi says it is, I'm kind of happy about that now because I'm using it in a different way than probably it was intended. So that's my review on Pumpkin Marshmallow. Also, while I think of it, I'll say it right now before I forget, because um, I think I have forgotten the last couple times. I, my Sensi consultant is Lisa Roberry. She has a channel here on YouTube. She has uh, a, a Facebook page as well, um, and she is really super awesome. She does lots of videos. She always posts what she's melting. She posts the new, you know, new scents coming out. Um, in a couple of days, she'll be posting uh, the new Bring Back My Bar um previews i guess we could say so anyway check lisa robry out she is really really awesome okay so next week the choices are pretty and plum hug in a mug coastal strawberry and one of the bricks in, oh, we gotta go way back here, Lemon Drop It Low. And this was from the, um, these bricks came out, I believe in April, and it was like a dance theme slash cocktail theme. And I did only get two this time. Last week we reviewed the uh, Mojito Mambo, and so this is another option for you. This week, Lemon Drop It Low. So the first person to respond, that will be the wax we will melt and review next week. I hope everybody's having a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.